You know, um, as an academic, um, writing is a central part of and a central piece of our mission. But writing for a broad public audience is different. Um, for me, it's an opportunity to engage with people, uh, people who I may not engage in my uh, professional society meetings or in my sort of study sections or in the lectures or in the classroom. My neighbors, my daughter's teacher, my aunts and uncles, people who I may know casually or personally. And, and I want to sort of engage with them and I want to learn from them and I hope I can contribute to that as well, particularly at this moment in time. There's another reason that I write. Writing to me is not just a part of scholarly experience or a part of scholarship, but good writing that I hope and aspire that I will be able to do perhaps in the future is a form of art. For me, it's an opportunity to combine scholarship, science and art together. And the third reason is, um, I think, which is an important one, academic writing uh, does a phenomenal job in conveying results and, and data and uh, making a case based on evidence. But it is written in a way with a particular reviewer in mind, with people who may sort of object to the argument and sort of you back it up with references. And oftentimes it loses that narrative arc that allows the writer to engage, to tell a story, certainly with facts, certainly with evidence, but in a way that would appeal to a broader audience. And a book allows you to do that a lot more than an academic paper does. 